Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a triangle perimeter and ratio problem. So we have the measure of the sides of the triangle are in the ratio of 4 to 5 to 6. Find the measure of each side if the perimeter of the triangle is 105 inches. Okay, so right now all we have in this problem, we're looking at some triangle and we know two things about this triangle. We know that the ratio of the sides of this triangle well, the sides hold a ratio of 4 to 5 to 6. And we also know that the perimeter of this triangle is 105 inches. So we have perimeter equals 105 inches. And now we need to combine these two pieces of information to find the lengths of the sides of this triangle. So now we need the concept of a ratio. Some ratio, let's say we're looking at A to B. This could be expressed as a fraction. A over B. But now I want to look at for some x value not equal to zero, let's say we multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by x, that would give us AX over BX, which allows us to express the ratio A to B as AX to BX. But AX to BX represents all the ratios that would reduce back to A to B. And now how is this going to help us for this problem? Well, if we multiply each of these terms by x, we could look at the ratio 4x to 5x to 6x. And now remember, for some x value not equal to 0, this represents all the ratios that reduce back to 4 to 5 to 6. All we would need to do is divide each of these by x, and it would bring us right back to 4 to 5 to 6. So now, if these represent all the ratios that reduce back to 4 to 5 to 6, well then we could express the sides of this triangle as 4x 5x and 6x because the information was given to us that the sides of the triangle are in a ratio of 4 to 5 to 6 so if this represents all the ratios that reduce to 4 to 5 to 6 our solution is at least one of them and now the perimeter of 105 inches helps us reduce this list of infinite possibilities to just one case so how do we find perimeter we take the sum of all the sides of this triangle so we have 4x plus 5x plus 6x equals, the perimeter is 105 inches. So now we're just solving this algebra equation. We're simplifying. We have three like terms. So we're looking at 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So we have 15x's. So 15x equals 105 inches. And now to solve for x, we divide by 15. And this gives us x equals 7 inches. So now the next step would be to plug in x equals 7 for each of these three expressions here. So 4x, we're looking at 4x, but we just found x equals 7 inches. So now we substitute. We have 4 times 7 inches is 28 inches. Next, we're looking at the, the side that has length 5x. So 5x, and we're substituting in x equals 7 inches. So we have 5 times 7 inches, and this equals 35 inches. And now last, we have the 6x side. We're, we're plugging in, once again, 7 inches for x. So we have 6x equals 6 times 7 inches, and this equals 42 inches. So this side here, the 4x side, is... 28 inches, the 5x side is 35 inches, and the 6x side is 42 inches. Now there's two things that we should check. For one, we should add these three sides together. Let's say we, we add both sides, and we have 28 plus 35 plus 42, which gives us 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15. So you have a 5, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is, I'm sorry, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So when we add all of those values together, we get 105 inches, which is the perimeter of this triangle. That information was given. And now finally, let's set up a continued ratio with the side lengths of this triangle. We're looking at 28, I'm just going to write it without the inches. We have 28 to 35 to 42. And now if we divide each of these pieces by 7, which is the x value that we found, 28 divided by 7 is 4, 35 divided by 7 is 5, and 42 divided by 7 is 6. 
it brings us right back to the continued ratio that we started with. So our answers to this problem, find the measure of each side. We have one of the sides is 28 inches, the other side would be 35, and the last side would be 42 inches. Okay, well this is going to conclude this triangle perimeter and ratios problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.